Hi guys, it's Ron. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the sure trace circuit tracer here from Ideal to find a short in electrical circuit. Now the tracer can locate the origin of a ground fault or a dead short in a circuit that is causing you know circuit breakers to trip, fuses to blow, and maybe even current leaking over to the ground conductor. Now step one is to determine which conductors are actually shorted together in that circuit. And the short can be between the hot and neutral, hot and ground, or neutral to ground. Now the first two conditions there will more than likely trip a circuit breaker. The last condition with the short between the neutral and ground may not, and it might be the cause of that nuisance tripping you're running into depending on what's actually plugged into that circuit. Now to do this, you're going to need to disconnect all the appliances on that circuit. Then go back to the electrical panel and trip the breaker and disconnect the neutral conductor in the panel. And using a simple continuity tester, determine which of the conductors are actually shorted together in that circuit. Now, if the fault is between the hot neutral or hot and ground conductors, reconnect the neutral conductor and connect one lead of the transmitter here to the hot conductor and the other lead to ground using the connecting leads and individual alligator clip adapters supplied with the tracer. I don't have an example of what that might look like in the field, but here's a made up example on my bench top. I've created a short between the hot and ground conductors here in the metal conduit. I've also terminated the conductors to a plug and using the extension cord plugged these outlets into a known circuit with its breaker tripped. Step two is to simply plug the transmitter into the first outlet using the outlet plug adapter. Keep in mind that in commercial work you will usually are dealing with metal conduit that is grounded so you cannot find a short in the middle of a conduit run since the conduit is blocking most of the signal. And if the signal finds its way onto the metal conduit, finding a change in signal strength is essentially impossible. However, if the conduit is doing its job and protecting the wires, the short generally happens in one of the electrical boxes. If the conductors are in a buried PVC conduit, the short can be about anywhere along the length of the PVC pipe and can be traced with no problems. Step 3, turn on the receiver and adjust the sensitivity to about the middle of the range and place it close to the transmitter to check that it is picking up a signal. The signal strength the receiver indicates will vary with the orientation of the antenna to the wires being traced. Holding the receiver flat against the face of the receptacle and rotating it shows a strong signal at each of these electrical boxes. When I do the same to box number 5, you'll see the signal has dropped off dramatically. So I would suspect the short is somewhere in between these two boxes. If the wires are in PVC pipe or buried in the ground, continue following the highest reading until the signal starts weakening. This is the point of the fault as the signal flows to ground instead of continually strongly down the conductor. Reduce the sensitivity range and use the nose of the receiver to pinpoint the location of the fault. For a condition between the neutral and ground conductors, disconnect the neutral conductor at the electrical panel and connect one lead of the transmitter here to the neutral conductor and the other lead of the transmitter to ground using the alligator clip adapters. Then repeat steps two and three we just went over. So call Ideal's customer service line or visit our website to find out more about the circuit tracer and a local distributor nearby maybe you can get one from. Hey, thanks for watching, folks. I'm Ron with Ideal, and I'll see you on the next one.